Hello, go kids, and welcome to this week's video. Before we get started, I've got a quick question to ask you. So if I was to say these words to you guys, let's go for a walk, what would you think about? You'd probably think about grass, you know, you probably think about walking on some green land like this one. You probably think about fresh air, you probably think about going for a walk outside, okay? But today, what if I was to tell you that Jesus is telling us and encouraging us to walk by the Spirit every single day? Well, we're about to find out exactly what that means. But before, it's praise time. So get up on your feet and let's go. The very best. Here we go! 
kids, yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed praise time. You know I did. I always love praising Jesus with you guys. It's always, always so much fun. So yeah, welcome, okay? If you are watching this video from home, why aren't you with us in Studio 4 today? We are back. I mean, did you, did you not hear? It is breaking news. Go kids is back live in the flesh in Studio 4, okay? But if you weren't able to make it for one reason or the other, don't worry, I understand. I understand, I'll forgive you, okay? But don't forget, we're back in Studio 4. Get your parents to book in and join us next week, okay? Because we're back, ready to have so much fun, ready to fellowship with each other, praise Jesus with each other, and most of all, have fun in God's presence together, okay? So I'd love to see you guys next week. You promised me? You promised me you'd be here next week? Okay, good, cool, cool. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys so much. Welcome back, like I said. So, what have we been talking about these past couple of weeks? We've been talking about the Holy Spirit, okay? So, we've spoken about the Holy Spirit being our comforter. We've spoken about the Holy Spirit being our helper. And last week, what was our memory verse? Do you remember? Okay, let me, let me just wait for you to... You remember yet? Yes, it is in John. Yes, absolutely, it is in John. Yes, John chapter 16, verses... That's right, verses 13, where Jesus said... But when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, okay? Because guess what? Jesus wants us to know the truth. Like I said, he doesn't want us to know some of the truth or most of the truth. Jesus wants us to know the whole truth, okay? Jesus wants us to know what's right by God to do, okay? He doesn't want us to be led by the flesh, okay? Because the flesh likes to lie to us and likes to tell us that, that you know, that if we were to tell this little lie, you know, then we won't get in trouble by our moms and dads, okay? If we've done something wrong, we tell a lie to try and get out of it. But no, Jesus is saying, when you have the Holy Spirit in you and you are walking by the Spirit, okay? who is the spirit of truth he will tell you and teach you every single day how to tell the truth okay how to please God in everything I remember I had a map behind me of Manchester and I spoke about how the Holy Spirit is like our step-by-step our -step guide every day to lead us to do the right things okay to be at the right places at the right time okay so the Holy Spirit would always lead us to do right okay and to and, and always lead us to to live by god's truth and to always believe god's word over everything okay so today um i want us to continue talking about the holy spirit okay so i want us to open our bibles now to galatians chapter 5 from verses 24 okay our actual memory verse is galatians 5 25 today but i'm going to read from verses 24 to 26 okay so that's galatians 5 from verses 24 to 26 and you're there if you're there say hallelujah okay there we go all right okay so i'm going to read from this version this nirv version um our go kids adventure bible okay and let us read together okay you ready steady go <laughs> okay so from verse 24, Galatians 5 from verse 24 says, Those who belong to Christ, Jesus, have nailed their sinful desires to his cross. They don't want these things anymore. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become proud. Let us not make each other angry. And let us not want what belongs to others. Isn't that amazing? Okay, I'm going to read it one more time. Okay, so those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed their sinful desires to his cross. They don't want these things anymore. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become proud. Let us not make each other angry. Let us not want what belongs to others. Okay, that means to covet what another person had. That means, oh, I wish I had that. Oh, why don't I have that? I'm not happy because I don't have what my friend has. No. Okay, the Bible is telling us not to be like that, okay? Because when we have Jesus, we have everything we'll ever need. Okay, so like I said, our key verse for today is in Galatians 5 verse 25 that says, since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit, okay? I love what um, chapter or verse, should I say, verse 24 says. It says, those who belong to Christ have nailed their sinful desires to the cross. Do you remember in Goku, we've spoken about the old creation and the new creation a lot of times. And we've spoken about how our old creation is our sinful nature, okay? Our old creation is what was separated from God. Because when we were born into this world, we were all born into sin, okay? Because guess what? When you were a little, little baby and you didn't really have a mind of your own, 
fully developed. You didn't know Jesus. You didn't really know how to pray. You didn't know how to read your Bible. Okay, you hadn't asked Jesus into your heart yet. You hadn't done it because you were a baby. Okay, so you were in your old creation because you you didn't really have you didn't have a, a personal relationship with God. Okay, but when you became a Christian, when you gave your life to Jesus and you invited Jesus into your heart, you became born again. And guess what? The old passed away out with the old and in with the new the bible says in, in 2 corinthians 5 17 okay that old things have passed away behold all things have become new so you became a new creation in christ jesus so you becoming a new creation meant that your spirit was renewed like i spoke about last week okay and because you had a brand new spirit okay from god the holy spirit can now live inside of you so now being in that place of being a new creation that means you now have a relationship a personal relationship with jesus okay you can now fellowship with god every day and hear god most of all you don't want to sin anymore okay you don't want to do the things that that don't please god that don't put a smile on god's face and guess what sinning doesn't put a smile on god's face god doesn't like sin okay because god is perfect and where, you know, with God, there's no sin whatsoever, okay? So with our sinful desires, we nail them to the cross. Like the Bible says here in Galatians 5.24, when we became a new creation, we were like, aha, this is right and this is wrong. The Bible tells me this is right and the Bible clearly says this is wrong. So we left our sins there, okay? Because what happened at the cross? Jesus nailed our sins to the cross, okay? So we left our sins there. So the Bible in this scripture in Galatians 5.25, we say, since we live by the Spirit, let us walk by the Spirit because living by the Spirit means you become born again. You become a Christian. Jesus now lives in you. The Holy Spirit now lives in you. But there is a difference between just living by the Spirit and walking by the Spirit. And I'll, sh I'll show you how. So here we have, my friends are back actually. <laughs> we have Liliana. Okay, here's Liliana and here's Lukey Luke. Okay, so Liliana and Lukey Luke. Okay, so Liliana and Lukey Luke, they got saved at the same time. They became Christians at the same time, okay? So they both accepted Jesus into their hearts, okay? And they both became Christians. They both became born again, right? But Luke and Luke sort of fell off, okay? So he still believes he's a Christian, okay? But every day, he doesn't really pray. He doesn't really read his Bible, okay? He doesn't ask God, God, what do you think about this? I, I, I want to do this today. What do you think about this, okay? What, what's your mind on this, God, okay? Oh, God, what should I do about this person, okay? So Luke and Luke kind of fell off. He just believes, oh, yeah, I'm a Christian now. I don't need to do anything else. I don't need to pray. I don't need to read my Bible. I don't need to check in with the Holy Spirit and, and ask the Holy Spirit to help me with anything. I'm just going to chill like this. So Luke and Luke sort of fell asleep, okay? <laughs> he kind of fell asleep, you know, spiritually. But Liliana, okay, she said, now that I've become a Christian, I want to please God every single day of my life. But I can't do that alone. I need the Holy Spirit to help me, okay? I need to do what Romans 8, 14 says, that those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. So Liliana knows the importance of being led by the Holy Spirit every single day so when Liliana wakes up she reads her bible she prays to God and she asks she asks the Holy Spirit to help her with her schoolwork you know to, to, to deal with her family to deal with her friends she asks the Holy Spirit to help her with everything so guess what Liliana involves the Holy Spirit in everything that she does but Luke and Luke kind of just said, no, once I'm, you know, I became a Christian already, I don't need to do anything else, okay? So what's the difference? Who is living and walking by the Spirit? Is it Luke and Luke or is it Liliana? Exactly. It's Liliana. So Liliana is doing what Galatians 5.25 says. She is living by the Spirit and walking by the Spirit. But Luke and Luke just lives by the Spirit. He's like, yeah, okay, I'm saved. I'm a Christian. Yes, I have the Holy Spirit. But I mean, I don't need to check in with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is chill. The Holy Spirit is calm. Yeah, when I need the Holy Spirit, I'll, 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 you know, I'll give the Holy Spirit a shout. But Liliana is like, no, I need the Holy Spirit every single day to be my guide, to comfort me, to help me. Okay, so Jesus wants us to be like Liliana. He wants us to involve the Holy Spirit every single day, okay? Remember the question that I asked at the beginning of this video. If I was to say, let's go for a walk, what would being ahead, what would being ahead with that, you know, we're walking together, okay? Is that we'll, we'll be walking together side by side. Guess what? That's what Jesus wants for us. He wants us through the help of the Holy Spirit to walk side by side with him every single day, okay? 
And one of the ways we can do that is actually in this same passage that I read earlier in Galatians 5.26 that says, let us not become proud. Okay, so these are ideas about how you can walk by the Spirit, okay? By not becoming proud, by not making each other angry, okay? And by not wanting what belongs to others. Like, it's okay. Like, if someone if someone shares a testimony about how God blessed them with, you know, some new trainers, you know, it's okay to say, God's going to do it for me too. But to then say, no, I wish I had what they had. It's not fair. Why don't I have that? I'm not happy now. You know, I want my mom and dad to get me that same thing. And until they get me that same thing, I'm not going to be happy. No, that's not walking by the Spirit, okay? Walking by the Spirit is saying, do you know what? God's going to do it for me too, okay? I'm going to pray to God that he will bless my mommy and daddy, you know, with everything that they need so that I can have things as well, okay? That's walking by the Spirit, okay? So it's so important every day for us to follow the example of Liliana here, okay? Check in with the Holy Spirit, okay? Pray every single day pick up your bible and read it and before you do anything especially when you have two choices to make about something okay like i remember i had two choices two different directions here on the map last week when you have two choices to make about something whether to tell tell you know tell the truth about something or to tell a lie sometimes telling a lie might be the easy way out okay it's like oh this is going to be so easy to tell that lie because it means i won't get into trouble but guess what like liliana if we were to ask the holy spirit and say Holy Spirit, what will please God? What will put a smile on God's face if I tell the truth or if I tell a lie? The Holy Spirit will tell you what? To clearly tell the truth, okay? Because the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth, okay? So guess what? When you tell that truth, you put a smile on God's face and you're involving the Holy Spirit with what you do every single day. So guys, that brings us to the end of our video today. So just a quick recap. What was our memory verse again? It was in, that's right, in Galatians chapter 5, verse 25. That says, since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Or another version says, let us walk by the Spirit. Okay, so since we live by the Spirit, let us walk by the Spirit as well. Okay, so I want to encourage you guys to walk by the Spirit every single day. And take that walk, take that walk with the Holy Spirit. When you're walking to school, remember that the Holy Spirit is inside of you, okay? When you're going to bed, remember that the Holy Spirit is inside of you. Whatever you do, remember that the Holy Spirit is inside of you. So thank you guys so much. Have a blessed week. And always remember that God has made you the very best.